and good morning. I hope you all had um, a good evening and I am here to go over the adverbs with you. I really want to make sure you are comfortable with uh, using adverbs and finding adverbs, okay? Adverbs, let's see what it says right here. An adverb is a word that describes an action verb. It has ad and then verb. So you know that an adverb helps describe a verb. Well, adverbs describe verbs three different ways. One does an adverb. It describes how an action happens. So I'm jumping. Am I jumping fast? Am I jumping slow? Am I jumping around in a circle? Okay. Um, how did Jason read? He read quickly is in our example right here. When we see words that end in this L-Y right here, this tells us that this is an adverb. Not all adverbs end in L-Y, but when, if we see one of those L-Y words, we know we have an adverb. Okay, so let's ask another question. How did the birds fly? Fast. You answer this one. The birds sang. How did they sing? They sang pretty. Okay, so there's lots of ways we can look at it. But how is a big, is a big description on how an action takes place. Another action, um, how another time when action takes place, it describes when. When did something happen? When did the birds fly? In the morning. So morning would be your adverb. Uh, let's see, um, last night I went to the movies. Last night is when it happened. The dogs ran after lunch. So it tells when something happens. In this case right here, in this example, Emma left early. Look at this word early. What does it end with? The L-Y. The L-Y is very important. Remember, it shows us that it's going to be an adverb. So an adverb can describe where an action happens as well. Where did Lily and Ben play? They played here. Where did the birds fly? In the sky. Over the park. Where did the dogs run? outside. So we can, um, if we remember how, when, and where, it will help us. Okay, let's try some examples. My grandpa snored. How did he snore? He snored loudly. Okay, we could have said softly, it just depends on what we're describing. But this grandpa snored loudly. Chloe played on the beach. When did she play? Yesterday. Yesterday. Right here, we're going to circle that. Yesterday, she played on the beach. I will visit my friend. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll visit my friend. George, will you come here? Come where? Come here. Here is where, where it happens. My sheepdog sat lazily in the pool. What can you all tell me about this word right here? 
What does it have that lets you know that that is the adverb? Right, it has the L-Y. Neil slowly placed a card on the card house. How did he place that card? He placed it slowly. We know he's not going to place it fast because he'll knock over the card house. <clears throat> so let's look at this word. How do we know this is an adverb? I hope you all said because it ends in L-Y. We're going to do some more. <clears throat> Neil stopped suddenly and listened. He stopped suddenly and listened. What does this adverb have? Right, it has the L-Y. So if we see an L-Y, it helps us know that that word is an adverb. Neil stamped his feet. How did he do it? Angrily. I carefully glued the last piece onto the model. How did I glue? How did I glue? I carefully glued. Again, it describes how. So that will help you find that adverb, but it also ends with the L-Y, okay? <clears throat> Sam accidentally slipped on the ice. How did he slip? Great, accidentally. He didn't do it on purpose, and that's usually how we slip. We don't know it's coming, so accidentally slip. And what does this word have that it ends in? An L-Y. Yesterday they played a game. Are they talking about how they played the game? Where they played the game? Or when they played the game? We can ask these three questions and it will help us find the adverb. How, where, and when. Do you know when they played the game? Yes, they told us yesterday. The truck grumbled loudly. Does it say when the truck grumbled? It doesn't give us a time, does it? Where the truck grumbled? Did it say someplace? Did it give us a setting where the truck grumbled? Or did it tell us how it grumbled? Right, it told us how it did it. And what could we have looked for to make sure we knew, we knew that that was an adverb? Right here, L-Y. Okay, so let's look at the next one, number 13. Number 13. We will go to the concert soon. Is it telling us how we're going? No, we'll probably go in a car, but, or we will get there fast, but it's not telling us how we're going. Is it telling us where we're going? No, it's not telling us where we're going, but, is it telling us when we're going? We will go to the concert soon. Yes, it's telling us when we're going. We're going soon. Let's look at number 14. Jen waited patiently for the computer to load. Is it telling us when? Does it give us a time at all? No, it's not saying now. Uh, soon, yesterday, at two o'clock. It's not telling us when. Is it telling us where? Was she at home? Was she inside? Was she outside? No, it's not telling us. 
Is it telling us how she weighed it? Yes, it's telling us how she weighed it. And look at this. What does this word have? Right, an L-Y. So we knew it was an adverb. We can look at that sentence and not know, even before we read it and see that L-Y. And we know that that is an adverb. So let's look. Kayla finally arrived at the park. Okay, there's no L-Ys or are there? <gasps> yes, there are. What does this L-Y tell us? She finally arrived. Is it telling us how she arrived? No. Is it telling us where she arrived? Well, over here at the park. But it's telling us when she finally arrived. She must have been running late, right? My mother nicely reminded me to do my homework. Is there anything in this sentence right here that will tell us right off the bat where the adverb is? I hope you said nicely. Is she telling us when? No, does it mention when we're going to do that homework? It, does it mention where? No, but it would be nice to do it outside. Does it mention how she reminded me? Yes, she did it nicely. Let's look at 17. The astronaut easily fixed the problem. Okay, he easily fixed. This is how he did it. There is that L-Y again. I usually hug my mother. Is there a clue in this sentence where the adverb is? Yes, usually. Right here. And how about, my dog always barks. Is it telling us how he barks? No, but he's probably barking loudly. Is he te telling us where he barks? No, but he's telling us when he barks. He always barks. There's no L-Y in that one, so we had to figure that one out ourselves. And the last one. Peter neatly wrote a shopping list. Neatly. L-Y. That one was easy. Alrighty, so this was a quick review. I'm going to give you a, um, a worksheet, so if you could complete that and take a picture and send it back to me, it's going to be awesome. Thank you, because we had a little bit of trouble last week, and I want to be able to make sure you guys get good grades on this. Okay, so I hope you have a great day. Bye.